microphones. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 2022 Garden State Film Festival 20th anniversary year. 20 years, my friend. 20 years, and we're uh, back. Yeah, yeah. so uh, my name is Ming Chen. CJ Khan. Uh, we thought we were done for the night, and then this amazing, these amazing filmmakers rolled. It was like, hey, you got time for one more? We always have we time do. <laughs> for one more. Uh, I am here with Team uh, One Night Only. Uh, would you guys introduce yourselves? We'll start right over here yeah. and uh, right into the microphone. Hi, my name is Esther Tupoli, and I was the director of photography. Amazing. My name is Lily Bourdon. I'm the director, writer, producer of One Night Only. Hi, my name is Mishi Mihai Sabadush, and I was the lead and the co-creator of One Night Only. Hi, my name is Christian Koves, and uh, I my duty was the post-production and I'm the executive producer of One Night Only. Ah, amazing. And um, like I don't want to assume anything, but I'm, I'm assuming you're not from New Jersey? No, we're, uh, we're from all over. I'm in Connecticut. Esther is in L.A. Mishi is in Toronto, and actually, you're you're in New York. Yeah, in New you're York. In New York, yeah. so that's nice. as close as we get to New Jersey. We're from all over. Amazing. Wow. Do you guys collaborate together often, or did you guys find each other uh, through other means? We do. We always find ways to collaborate. We were working on a short film in Ohio um, with Mishi and Esther, and uh, they both came to New York. I was living in Brooklyn at yeah. the time. We filmed this in a couple of days. Um, Christian came on board, and now Mishi and Christian are working on a short film. That's amazing. Well. So everyone's just meeting each other, collaborating. And we're always and looking for ways to collaborate. We, we hope we'll be able to do Lily a lot more. And, Lily and, and we're going to be working on something we're as well. We're going to be working together. That's amazing. Uh, when, did, when did you film this? Yeah, when, when was this filmed? <laughs> November 2019, right before the world yeah. fell apart. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Uh, how many shoot days were there? So we shot like a couple hours for like a consecutive four days, uh, maybe three or four days. Okay. We shot his performance live. He was in New York doing a, a one-man show. Oh. So we filmed that, Moliere's Misanthrope, and uh, we had to get that. We brought in a love interest. We wrote a script around his story yeah. uh, and then brought in an actress. And uh, yeah, so it was just really on the fly with the iPhone 11, oh, Filmic, you, Filmic oh, wow. Pro app. You guys shot on the iPhone 11? Yeah, we shot in the museum of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We shot in the New York Metro. Nobody ever noticed us. They yeah. noticed him because no. he was wearing a costume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, New York, the you know the if you don't, if you don't have that, <laughs> if you don't have the usual. audio on you, the big boom, no they boom, let you no go. No audio, exactly. Yeah, how did you do sound? Did you did you use? So we actually got pretty good sound. Um, I had some microports I put on them, okay. the Saramonic mic microports, and then uh, whatever sound didn't come out because of wind, mm. we just did. Uh, we a dubbed it. Okay. ADR, yeah, the ADR. 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 That's amazing. So I mean, that's true. Uh, you know, you, you always see these uh, commercials uh, that Apple put. Oh, you can make a movie with this. Like, holy crap, you, you guys, really you guys actually did. <laughs> yeah, we we were like, we had the option. Esther was like, look, I can get a red camera. I can get this. And I was like, we don't have the time for pre-production. We don't have the budget. Right. Let's just shoot whatever we can. What, all I care about is the story and the acting. Story and the acting. Right. And we and we we managed to get, and it actually looks really good. We just saw it. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Big so, screen. So How was the audience reaction? They loved it. They asked us a ton of questions. Everybody seemed really moved by it. One lady was crying next to me. Whoa, okay. So. <laughs> I, I mean, that's true emotion right there, to get someone to, to shed tears. So I pay uh, attention to that. Yeah. I, look, I look and see if they're with the story, they're following the story. Because they can be watching an amazing movie and just kind of just not really be in it. But yeah. it's, really, it's really obvious when someone uh, audience is in it. Yeah. Uh, so the film's called One Night Only. Can you tell me about it? Uh, what's it about? Um, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, so, this is about the guy who is Hungarian and okay. came to New York. He's doing, he, he thinks he's make it and, and want to do uh, uh, his one man show in right. New York and it's going to be fantastic. Then, can I tell like all the story? Yeah. I, I'm not going to do a spoiler, but he, he, he end up sleeping in, in, the, in the next to the river in, in a oh, bench. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. So, he's, he's that cool and he's going back to get ready to the show and end of the show. He realized this the one of the lady who she have a, he haven't seen for twenty five years and that was like a big love but they, they only spent one night together oh, okay. twenty five years ago yeah but he's still thinking about her and her still thinking about him right and they just spend a lovely evening together and then they 
Let's play the game. Right. Uh, it's a one night only. Exactly. That's, that's Just a, like the show. Yeah. yeah. Some, yeah. some loves are too special to ruin with a relationship. I Good tagline. Good tagline, man. Good tagline. Wow. Or, or like there's always that one person in your life like uh, you'll never forget them, I but um, you can't be with them. Like yeah. They changed your life. Like, you you know, they're like your twin flame or whatever. Right. But. Right, but those aren't special because I hear guys saying that all the time, all that all the time to girls. You know, they don't mean it. They're like, "Oh, I, yeah. that's right, I'm moving on." I'm like, hey, "You're a jerk." So, but this guy, this is real though. That's real amazing. love. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the first time they were together for one night, and he had to leave because yeah. he was a young traveling actor, and then he didn't want to say something stupid, yeah. so he didn't want to ruin it by yeah. saying goodbye. Like, what do you say after that? Like, he has to go home. Right. And then the second time around, 25 years later, he's already got a wife and kids. So he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Uh, what what inspired See, this? But Did they're you, still in love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What inspired yeah. this? Did you have a similar experience? Yeah. I feel like everyone has that sort of want fling. Puts, yeah. We all put our... I'm sure, yeah. Experiences in the story. All, but, you know, everybody brought something that they experienced. And, um, yeah, I mean, even like Esther was like, well, let's make the love interest this woman who cleans houses under the table, because I know a Hungarian oh, woman yeah, who's yeah. been living in, in New York City for t- for 15 years and is still uh, undocumented, yeah. illegal, cleaning table houses under the table. Right. So we brought in this wonderful Hungarian actress to play that character. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's real. It's real stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, this is the first time, like, Lily and I, we way go back. We, we did shows together yeah. in Hungary, five-language show in Prague. So we did a cool thing. And... She's the first director who ever said, like I said, oh, I have a lady I, I, I could like bring into and maybe do the lead. And she said, oh, no, she's too young for it. Yeah. You know, usually, no, go for younger. But right, Lily, right, Lily right. wanted yeah. somebody yeah, who was like was close uh, to age my appropriate. age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was so cool. And Zoe, who did the, she did a fantastic job. She yeah. did a like, really amazing job in this character. Yeah, what was casting uh, the female lead like? I mean, there's two very important it was, parts. It, um, it happened very quickly. I thought of her. They were like, okay, cool, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that was, okay. That was if they could all, it could all, all, always be that easy, right? <laughs> yeah, and she's fantastic. She's fantastic. And yeah, and you've worked together for a while. So was it? Uh, did you? I mean, you had him in mind, obviously. Was it kind of? It was definitely written around him in a way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh. Yeah. That's. Yeah. It had to be this team, like just mm. for, because of the time constraint, because of everything. We were, we happened to be in the same city at the same time. Yeah, and the table turned because I directed Lily back there, home in Hungary, and back her mom. Hungary. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so there's <coughs> another Hungarian produ- production starring you so- somewhere out there. A lot of theater. I did a lot of theater in Hungary. And did you she really? She was my director, yeah. That's, oh. a, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, but I was so proud of Lily. I think she did an amazing job and created like a really amazing atmosphere for us to, to, to create and like she was always going, it's, it's all good. Just just trust oh, yourself. Yes. It was like so cool yes, to breathe, have that. Like breathe. Okay, not rush it and everything. Give us a place to I mean, really. Yeah, but it was so easy because we have that history and we know each other and we love each other. It was it flowed. It all flowed really nicely. And then and then I and then we took the footage to Christian and I said, Christian, just he's like, let me take this. Let me do something with it. And he came back with this amazing thing. And of course, it was too long at first, but I was. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. How much how much footage did you shoot? Uh, how much did they? How much did they give you, and how much did you cut it down to? I have absolutely no idea. I mean, you asking <laughs> about the length of the Roma yes. parallel? It wasn't, how long was it wasn't that? that? You know, you should know that you you were a cinematographer. Yeah, but it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that much since we were shooting live. Six hours, maybe. No, six hours. Six hours. Okay. okay. No, and now, what's no, the final? You don't think so? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, yeah what's the final? Cut? What's the final runtime? I mean, I could, I could check it out because I, I can, I can connect to my server. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you don't need to do it now. You don't yeah. need to do it now. I'm sure you want to know that. We're, we're, we're just so looking. How long is the movie? Yeah. How long is the movie now? <laughs> yeah. What, what's the but final now, runtime? Now the movie is uh, 18 minutes long. Okay. 18. About 18, 19, between 18 and 19, and it started like 25, maybe. But we knew, I mean, that was, that was the first, you know, that was the first um, cut. Yes. So. How do you go about cutting it to that Sorry? length? How do you yeah, go about a, cutting it to that length for having all that footage? How? Yeah. So hey, you have, what, hours of footage, hours, right? Six hours. Yeah. Or, or so they but say, down to 18 minutes. Out, down to 18 but minutes. But that's, that's, that's just, uh, you know, that's just the raw material. I mean, you, you have to pick up the best uh, scenes, the best yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, shots, and then you... Uh, try to put the story together. I mean, uh, you really have to found the the the, you know, the core of the yeah. story, and uh, this whole thing is about storytelling. And uh, and uh, it was um, you know, um, it was very surprising how how 
uh, this uh, material can evolve. Uh, it was uh, really very interesting for us, for me and Lily, and we, you know, um, we sat together a long, 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 long hours. Yeah. <laughs> and and still the whole movie just evolved, evolved, and we was we, we were we were very surprised at how, you know, good it turned out. What about a music or score for the film? So we had a score under it. We had to create new music for it um, mm -hmm. because I couldn't find a way to get the rights. Um, uh -huh. And uh -huh. then uh, Annie Hart. Um, who I met at an airport, I started listening to her music, and I was like, oh my gosh, this song is so perfect for this movie. It's um, Hard to Be Still by Annie Hart. It's like kind of like a punk yeah, thing. Yeah. And you met her at an airport, like at a layover or something? Yeah, or? so she and I were standing. <laughs> we were, um, <laughs> we, you True know, when you, when you have to go through the x-ray machine? Yes, the, the, yeah, new the TSA ones, stuff. And yeah. I was just yeah. terrified of yeah. like anything with radiation. Oh, yeah. so, so I was like, nah, -uh, I'm not going in there. Right. And I was like, you can, I can go through that old school. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. You know that <laughs> one, what that one does. And so they pat me down and everything. It takes a little longer, but I do it every right. single time. Mm -hmm. And she did the same thing, and I was like, "Who is this other crazy chick who's not who's not going to go yeah, through the X-ray machine?" Yeah, chained down with radiation. And she's like, "Uh-uh." And I was like, "I was like, are we crazy? Like, what's are we?" She's like, "No, everybody else are just sheeple." <laughs> I was like, "You're my girl. <laughs> like, let's do something together. Let's uh, work on something together." That's cool. Wow. And you did. Yeah, and she Incredible. and she gave me this song. Like that song has been on. Na Naomi Watts HBO show that yeah. song has been David Lynch uses her music like wow. a lot of people use her music and right. she was like I love this movie so much I want you to have this music talk to my agents and they gave it to me for like a couple hundred bucks yeah 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 wow. that's amazing yeah. That's, I mean that's. I mean that's, I have to renew it um, yeah. and if I sell the movie or if it gets distributed it gets, then I have yeah, to re right. renegotiate but for now yeah, like I can, the festival it can price during thing. the festival yeah yeah at that point it'll be worth I mean it's worth it already at that point yeah here just renew it just renew it. Yeah. Um, the uh, iPhone 11 footage. Uh, did you have to do a lot of color timing? Did you have to do a, a, any manipulation? Or was, uh, how 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 great did it look? Or out no, of the box? No, 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 definitely. It not. looked that no, good. Certainly, it took so much time. Oh, it did. I okay. Mean, yeah, it, absolutely. I, I had to use all my magic. Okay. Uh, because you know, I mean, um, um, they were absolutely um, good footage. Sure. But still, still, it's it's iPhone, you know. Right. So so you really have to do your magic. You have to use uh, a lot of coral. Uh, color grading yep. and everything, but uh, they were perfectly. You know, I mean, they were perfectly shot because you know Esther did. <laughs> yeah. So um, did you use any rigs or any gimbals or anything? Did, was it completely handheld? Just a little, little gimbal. The okay. Osmo. Oh, the Osmo. Okay. Osmo, yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. But I mean, you know, Osmo is what four hundred bucks? Like, or it know. wasn't that much at the yeah. time. No, it's one hundred and sixty. <laughs> one hundred and sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are after inflation now. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. okay Before okay. the inflation. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But okay. sometimes Before the gas said, prices went up. Yeah. But sometimes that's just it. I don't need it. I'm just gonna hold it. So no, just some get of the, the coolest. Bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, coolest footage there is like as to just holding it. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks yeah, we kind of cool. threw the gimbal away at a certain point. Oh, really? Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, doing Got doing the steady the hand. Yeah. Yes, very steady. Yeah. Do, <laughs> yeah, that's the magic. Doing the, I don't. I'm like shaking the post all the time. But doing the post production on iPhone, that's that's really um, you know that uh, ask for a, a lot of work. Sure. You know, and uh, you know, doing the also you have to do uh, stabilization right after you know okay. the shooting still mm. because. It's it's just not the not not those cameras. It's just right. not, not reds. And right, right. But, but, but it's still what is very interesting that you can make a full movie. I know. Still, phone, I mean, it's just a little phone. bit more work, you yes. know. But still, it's way cheaper than you know doing something with uh, with reds or or extras, yeah. and you yeah. don't have to ask for permission, for example. I, yeah, I think the trade off is yeah discreetness. Yes. The screenness. You just look like you look like a tourist. Uh, maybe exactly. Well, That's I had watched tan Tangerine. Like was shot. It's Tangerine, right? Yeah. It was shot on on the iPhone, and they had sound equipment and stuff. And they were saying, "Oh, you know, that kind of gave us away." I was yeah. Like, I was like, hmm. Yeah, you, know, you have a guy with a big sound rig. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. 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 So and then you can't get the same. You can't get it as quickly. You get people like looking more. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, would you shoot? It, would you do it again? I mean, the the iPhone 13 Pros look amazing. Um, I'm sure it's probably a significant upgrade. Would you do it again and shoot a movie on an iPhone? I think yes. If it serves the story, yes. Okay. If it serves the story. Okay. I mean, I know you'd rather be out there with a the red yes. uh, for sure. Not <laughs> like, uh, Ari Alexa. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah uh, but if, yeah, if the story is right and, and I learned a lot from this experience, probably I would do a bit differently now. Okay. But yes, definitely. That's amazing. And um, uh, when did you wrap the film? 
a long time ago. We shot it in November 2019. Okay. Uh, and then we took a and then we st- we jumped into editing pretty quickly. Like in January? Yeah, but still the post-production was... Yeah, I mean, we started in January, but the post-production uh, took... Uh, um, it took a long time. Yeah, I mean, that's the deal, you know. Yeah, when, and when then you I can guess... Go, when you can yeah. go into the mat with yeah. just a phone and make a movie, right. in, basically but inside the mat, yeah. then there's the trade-off. And we, we finished, like, um, um, in the summer? I'm sorry. Um, we finished, like, uh, late summer, early... Late summer, early, early, early fall. fall. Yeah. Of, uh, that's 2020. 2020. September. Okay. 2020. So you October. Were, you were festivals, we're live festivals at all? Yeah, or you were well into the pandemic when you wrapped. Right, and yeah. So, so it's been a lot of virtual stuff. Yeah. Uh, we were at the Black Bear Film Festival. We were at Center Film Festival upstate New York, which was really nice. Uh, we were at uh, a Cannes Film Festival. Okay, but yeah. it wasn't the... Ag- it was like a concurrent. The there, it was, uh, the there was a separate cell yeah. phone yeah. category. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Okay, and uh, we got best oh. production, okay. and we got um, <laughs> best actress. So we won best actress. Oh, yeah. so we did well there. There were two festivals there that we we were part of this past May, and it was that that was very like intera- It was totally not even hybrid. It was full on oh, like full this on. festival. Okay, in May. I guess this okay. festival was hybrid, but okay. So you um yeah, so you got to see in front of an audio a full on yeah, audience like like and it's a get full the reactions. Can experience. Wow, so it was pretty cool. That's, that's amazing. That's and uh, yeah, what's uh, what's the rest of your year look like? Um, have you are you at more fests? Um, so um, we have uh, New Haven Film Festival. Okay. We have um, Katra Film Festival coming up in April, which is uh, which is funny because they're going to be f- screening the film at Regal Cinemas in Times Square, which is where oh, yeah. our film starts. Oh wow! Oh really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's great. And that's, that's a huge great. screen. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh my, that's uh, that's amazing. That's, that's I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. That's great. And and imagine we just. We just met one afternoon, and we just decided to make a movie, and, so, and now here we are. I that's think that's crazy. Uh, and you're <laughs> at the, uh, yeah, well, that's called magic, my friend. Yeah. yeah, and that's how it's done around here, too. Yeah, that's yeah. how we do it, all these filmmakers. Uh, is this your first Garden State Film Festival? Yes, it yes. is. Hope not the last. We love it here. Yeah, I, I was going to ask, how's your experience been so far? Yeah. I, I find it to be pretty magical, but you know, maybe I'm biased. It is. You know, this morning I was sitting at a table. They invited us for breakfast at, with the festival uh, founder, and the director, and you know, it's, it's it's rare that you get to have so much face time with the people who who that they care so much that they're pre- that fully present. Right. Yeah. yeah I'm, I've been trying to meet Robert Redford at Sundance, have breakfast with him. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. Did you? Uh, were you here Friday night for the the gala? Yeah. Were you here last night? So um, Esther went to okay. the gala. Mm-hmm. She's got a lot of fun stories about the gala. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't make it um, because I just I was feeling under the weather. Okay, and so I was like, next, Esther, next year, go next, next year, next year. Yeah, next so. year. yeah and uh, I, I, we were there as well. And, you know, we, I I got there. They made me get there early, but then as it filled in, I was like, holy, holy crap! There's like 500 people. people here. 500. Yeah. Filmmakers and I was by myself there. I didn't know anyone. But oh, by the could, oh, you could have come we up were to us. Yeah. We were, we were yeah. sitting by the bowling alley, watching the Irish. Yeah, yeah. What about your drink? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now we know. Now we know. If I, yeah. You know yeah, not, not, yeah. Well, you got friends now. Yes. Yeah, and which Definitely. is what I loved about the whole experience. Yes. So. Yeah, absolutely. And you still can buy her a drink. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a drink. Festival is uh, not ended yet. We, we've got stuff here, so uh, we uh, either either way you're getting you're getting. This a is drink. the place to All be. Right. It is. Um, yes. You have you have no idea, my friends. You have, you have no idea. <laughs> no I've been trying idea. to get in here all day. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. So I, busy. Yeah, there. just, uh, yeah, we're, so we've been rolling since 11. We didn't stop until about, about 18, 7 o'clock. There was a line podcast. outside to get in. I saw that. Which I was like, no, that's not going to happen. I'm not <laughs> I, I never <laughs> want you to wait in line. Yeah. So, you know, you wait till the crowd you, dies You were really cool. You were like, come back. When can you do it? I was like, tonight. Oh, come back. Okay, yeah, let's do it tonight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, I, I yeah. Well, I mean, we, we love promoting independent yeah. film. Uh, I believe in it. something that's changed my life, so... Um, and and I love what you guys are doing. I mean, rolling to the Met with a gimbal and a that's great. That's this awesome. Great, we've heard great stories. That's today. awesome. Just amazing you know, stories, you, you, right? We hear a lot of kids like, "Oh, how do I do this? How do I shoot yeah. it? Like, I, I don't have enough money. Like, do you have a phone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can make a movie. You can, you, know, you can, you know, see, use that. See if you you really want to do this. If you can make a movie on that, you can then you can go. You can make a movie, you know, get the red camera later. Go get, you know, Lumix or Sony or Yeah, whatever. and you can make a movie for a ton of money and it might not touch anybody or you can make a movie for nothing and right. it somehow yep. somehow touches people and you can move you can move them or help them understand something that they didn't know before yeah. or a feeling they had. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, do you guys have a website or is there social media for uh, One Night Only? 
So uh, one night only film okay. on Instagram. Okay. All right, we got a couple of new followers, so yeah, absolutely. thank okay, you. One cool. night, I think it's I was yeah, curious one night about only the film. theater and your one man show. Yes, can you tell us about that? So. Yeah, yeah. So I did the show. It's called La Misanthrope by okay. Molière. It was like a thirteen piece of uh, people, and I made five different characters, but I doing it by myself. Yeah, but it was so funny because one lady saw it in Boston and said, and just met her recently. She said, "Oh, I see your show. That was like three actors." And I said. Me. That, that, was me. me. <laughs> that was me. That was all me. The three actor was me. Yeah. That's how good yeah, I was. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that was a good compliment, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's like, That's where are the other two guys? Yeah. Uh, you're looking at them. They are here, but they are just quiet, Ron. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, they have to come out. Yeah, yeah I have to wake, I have to wake up. Don't wake them up. I have to yes, wake so. up that part yes. of the brain for sure. <laughs> yeah, and I'm doing another show called Cyrano. C for Cyrano. Yeah, Cyrano. Right. And I'm doing the Cyrano, the, the, the French oh, yeah, play. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Bergerac, Yeah, the, the new musical coming up with yes. Peter Dinklage. So yeah. I have to go against Peter Dinklage. So oh, I don't boy. know how I'm going to yeah. do it because he's one of my favorite. He's amazing. So we will see. He's a, he's he's a, a Jersey boy. He's a Jersey boy. Jersey, he's a Jersey New Jersey boy? Yes, native. He's from just here. Yeah. 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 When we actually shot another film with Chris, like a, a few months later, he was doing Cyrano in yeah. the theater, and I couldn't get a rush ticket. Oh, every man. every morning, I tried yep. to get a rush yep. ticket. Yep. I couldn't see him. Yeah. He started out this station agent right here in New Jersey. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. So they shot it here, station agent? Yeah, station yeah. agent, yeah. That's one of my favorite films yeah. ever. That's amazing. So what's next? Uh, I anticipate you guys working together many, many more times for many, yeah. many more years. Uh, are you guys working on anything together or separately right now? So Esther and I are have some plans for a series, a short film, and okay. maybe a feature, uh, but all very much in the beginning phases, yes. so not, not really ready to talk about it yet. Okay, no sweat. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll see you here next year? Uh, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Okay. Yes. Um, and then I'm, I'm also an actress. I'm primarily an actress. So I just wrapped a Hungarian feature, uh, historical drama, the biggest budget Hungarian feature. Oh, wow. Okay. I played mm. a queen. So that was a completely oh, wow, okay. different, a French different, queen. you know, different uh, French uh, queen. type of experience. And then um, Prussian. Prussian. Prussian queen. queen. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. I um, we didn't like the French that much. And then... Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, if we're just going by history, <laughs> but yes. You were the enemy. Uh, FBI, FBI International. I oh, yep. shot an okay. episode in, in Hungary of that. They're shooting the whole seri series in Hungary. Yeah. So I, I've, been, I've had a pretty good year as an actor, and I'm just thinking up stories, trying to figure out, find the next story that I want to tell as, an, as a director. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, uh, what are you guys working on? I mean, actually, we just met a, a Hungarian director in Miami, Peter Engert, and we are trying to find something for the two of us. Oh, wow, lead. okay. Lily and I, okay. and Peter's going to direct it, so oh. that could be really like a kind of like a horror kind of, I don't okay. know, thriller. thriller. Yeah, and <laughs> we have a couple of projects with this guy as well. So. And I'm shooting a feature um, this September I'm back in Hungary. That's amazing. Oh, wow. And I'm preparing for a short film in LA, so... Okay, you guys yeah. are busy. Yes. Okay, that's busy. great, yeah. and uh, it's good to see everything, co everything come back. Yeah. 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 Chris, yeah. tell about the film very quickly. Sorry? Tell about the film, your film. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm working on my second feature film here in, uh, in in the U.S. I mean, my first feature film was in Hungary, but this uh, this is the second feature film of mine, and uh, I'm working. Uh, this this is going to be my first U.S. production, and I'm in the fundraising phase now. Okay, and, uh, yeah. and, uh, that's the fun part. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, the fun, fun part. part. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <believe me. laughs> but uh, but uh, it's a very very cheap film. It's uh, it's about. Um, um, a doctor who um, who tries to convince herself to get back to the death zone hospital, you know, between two 24-hour shifts uh, of COVID. Um, oh wow! wow. Okay. During the COVID outbreak in New York. Yeah. Wow. So and uh, it's uh, here comes the here comes the sun film dot com. That's the site. Oh okay, cool. Here comes the sun. Okay, here film comes the sun. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, great luck with uh, the festivals and your future projects for sure. Thanks, man. Thank you for thank coming you. in. Thanks for coming yeah. in. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, you for coming back for sure. I was like, hey, thank we, you for so having you, us. You, We're like, of course we can. The, the studio is always open this, to you. Yes. So, thank yeah, you. Always, Amazing. Always. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Come, back. Here. come back. We'll sit <laughs> down. Okay. Okay. Let's do another round. We have different answers. Let's do another round. Yeah, for sure. You just need the secret knock and you're in. Amazing. Thanks. Thank you very much. For sure. Garden State Film Festival. Still rolling films. It's 8.32. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a film like at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock yeah get down here I, whatever you're doing save your money on booze come down and see some great films yes at 10 o'clock and they're rolling all day tomorrow and then there's the awards ceremony yes um, good luck are you guys Long up for day. a competition or awards I, I think we would have heard by now if we oh if, if you we, won yeah okay I don't know how it works here but uh, okay did you um, hear anything 
I didn't hear. I, uh, I I'm not one hear. of the judges, so <laughs> okay. yeah, they don't we tell me hear. anything. Okay, cool. Uh, but you never know. You, you never, never know. Maybe. So uh, gsff.org uh, celebrating its 20th year, and uh, thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you, everybody watching. Uh, we will see you guys soon. Thank you so much Thanks. for having us. Thank you.